What's up, YouTubers? Welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Today's video, I think maybe called my philosophy of tone or something like that. <laughs> it's really to show you guys how I set my amplifier, in this case, my Wellagent or which I special to get the most out of it, right? And so when I play other guitars as well, they all sound like themselves. They all have different characteristics. And by how I set the EQ on the amp, all those characteristics show while playing other guitars. So as you guys know, my main amp is my Wellagen Overdrive Special, which is a clone of a Dumble Overdrive Special, which is like, ah, the amp. <laughs> but I set it differently, right? I set it so I have a great overall clean tone in the clean channel. And then when I go to the overdrive channel, it's an extension of the clean, right? So there's not super amount of gain and there's not a huge volume boost, right? It's quite the opposite. Less gain, less volume boost. So when I engage it, it's an extension, right? So amp settings wise and EQ is I have the input volume at around four, uh, treble for mid five and bass four. That I found using my main guitar, which is the Les Paul, gives me a great even clean sound. Now onto the overdrive section, I have overdrive and volume at about three. Like I said, I want it to be an extension of the clean channel, taking off where the clean channel left off. And I don't want a huge volume boost. I want just a hint of a volume boost. So when I go back and forth, it's not a dramatic difference. Master volume, since today we're using the aux, I have around five. The overdrive special amps have to be opened up to get the most out of it. And thankfully to the aux, we can run it straight to Luna and still get great tone. I also have the option to run the J Water effects loop, which is Wellagen's buffered effects loop, and make it act as a second master volume. So I can have the power amp volume cranked, right? And then just use the J Water to adjust it and bring the overall master volume lower so I can have the cranked amp, but make it quieter. That makes sense. So I can play it in my apartment and have the best tone and optimal feel, dynamics, etc. Then I have the presence on the amp at around three. If I want it darker, turn the presence off. If I want it brighter, more chimey, bring the presence up. So again, this rig was meant for my Les Paul, right? So we'll check that out now, and then we'll plug in the 335 and the Telecaster, right? And you can see how they have their own unique characters with this amp as well. So let's go. Alrighty. Got the Les Paul plugged in straight into the Overdrive Special. I am running into my pedal board, by the way, but just for the tuner. So really nothing. <laughs> Let's check out the clean tone. First on the neck pickup.
So that is neck pickup, clean channel. Good lows, good highs, overall great clean tone. Let's check out the bridge and then we'll engage the overdrive channel. <laughs> of the clean channel. So that is the main tone, the Les Paul. Let's now plug in the 335. So here we have 335. Obviously, as you guys know, semi hollow body. This 335 has less output pickups than the Les Paul. So obviously, it'll sound different just in general. So here is the neck pickup clean. Much more open sounding in my opinion, less compressed, a different style of clean tone, right? These are all crayons in your Crayola box, different flavors, different colors, different textures. Here is the bridge pickup. Thirteen flat nine. So now let's engage the overdrive channel.
much less gain, much less compressed compared to the Les Paul, right? <laughs> Almost sounds like Edge of Breakup. Right. So that the three three five, different texture, right? Now let's check out Telecaster. Now the Telecaster, we're now in a completely different guitar world. Wood, fingerboard, pickups, everything. Another voice of its own. So let's check out now the neck pickup clean. <laughs> Another variation of a great clean tone, right? Here is middle position. Telecaster classic bridge sound. Now let's engage overdrive channel. Bridge pickup. <laughs> sounds like again edge of breakup type tone now let's go to the middle position <laughs>
now, neck pickup. pickup overdrive channel right the gibson was the sound for me right perfectly compressed perfect amount of gain 335 less compressed much more open right telecaster less gain open and just makes me want to play less notes and really be dynamic on the picking hand right so how the amp is set, those three guitars have their own characteristic. And hopefully that was brought through the video. So with that being said, that is today's video on my philosophy of tone, as you can call it, right? Setting up your amp for your main guitar so that when you plug in other guitars, those have different characteristics and their own voice, right? So... Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, press like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.